My name's John Trawl. I'm the founder of El Jefe. My name's Daniel Rowan, owner here at Source Restaurant 27 Church Street. I'm Mark Lamphier. I'm the store manager at Harvard Bookstore. Um, I started there as assistant manager in 1998 and became the store manager in 2001. It was a project I came up with a long time ago, and then it just came to fruition over the past several years and unfortunate timing with the pandemic, but here we are. We took control of the property at, uh, January 1st of 2020. We signed the lease in December of 2019. We started demolition January through February. We gutted the whole place. We were scheduled to begin our build on March 17th of 2020, at which time, as we all know, the world stopped. Uh, we were not allowed to build until August 20, and then we opened November 21st. We were aware, we were sort of bouncing emails back and forth starting in February saying this might affect us um, and it got to the point where the spread was enough and the, the uh, sort of general nervousness was enough that we actually closed at noon on March 15th, 2020 um, and reopened to a very limited capacity and a very limited number of hours on July 3rd in 2020 and we've been building back crawling back toward uh, normality since you know for for us the pandemic sort of started on march 13th it was the day harvard was sent home from that students at harvard were sent home from school that sort of harvard shut down and you know our sales dropped 75 percent i mean i'm still struggling every single day to find staff you know, I've, I, I've, I've noticed that the, the hesitance of workers in, the, in this industry especially to return to work because we are such a close contact environment, it's been very difficult to find people that want to come back and actually feel comfortable enough to come back and work. You come in here and there's times where it's I'm pizza, garbage, pasta, dishwasher, runner, busser, cocktail server, host, all in one day. You know you have it in you, but you don't realize how deep you really do have it and how, how devoted you are to your industry until you go through something like this. First four months, five months, uh, when we were closed and then reopened, it really felt like we were reinventing some substantial part of the business every 36 or 48 hours, juggling staff and juggling hours and juggling what stock we had on hand. Fulfilling orders in a timely way was kind of a constant challenge. Renting is yeah. expensive. Um, we're very fortunate. Harvard is our landlord, um, and we have a, a really good relationship with Harvard, uh, and they have been they have been sort of understanding and flexible with us. Delivery became such a huge part. It was already a big part of our business before the pandemic started. I published three op-ed pieces on why the delivery fees should be capped by um, state or local governments. Um, and uh, eventually, the Massachusetts House and Senate um, passed the delivery fee cap that was signed by the governor in the middle of January. And th that had a big effect because it capped delivery fees at 15 percent instead of the 25 or 30 percent they had been charging. Um, and that made a big difference for, um, for us for those next seven months. One of the silver linings of opening up during the pandemic was we knew going in that we had to replace our HVAC system. Come July, they had finished testing with this new air filtration system with uh, the CDC down in Atlanta. And this system was proven to kill 99.4% of COVID-19 traces in the air within 30 minutes. So of course, it's a no-brainer, we put it in. And that gave us a competitive advantage in the sense that we now have the cleanest air out of any restaurant in the state. Unlike lots of restaurants that struggled so sort of badly during the pandemic, we were set up to do takeout and delivery. Um, and so when lots of restaurants either closed or greatly cut back their hours, Al Jefe's was never closed for a single hour during the pandemic. We were open from 8 a.m. to 4 a.m. every single day during the pandemic. I realize how incredibly fortunate we are um, sort of during this time. There's so many restaurants that have struggled 
um, even the ones that have made it have struggled, and there's so many that just haven't made it that, that have had to close. And so the fact that we were able to survive this pandemic and in some ways even grow during this pandemic, um, I, I don't ever sort of forget how fortunate we are that that's happened um, and to try to sort of pay that forward by um, supporting more organizations, supporting more causes. It certainly has been extremely difficult. Um, we have not lacked for customer support. A couple of weeks ago we had one guy place an order with us um, and then a couple of days later sent us a message that said, I have to cancel the order, but here's a donation. Um, and that kind of thing has not been uncommon. One of our biggest lifelines throughout the darker months of COVID throughout the winter were actually the Harvard Business School students because they were around and they essentially adopted us as their go-to spot. So on nights where it would generally be empty, we would have groups of them in here. They would buy out the restaurant from us on a number of occasions. And I truly consider and think that without them, we possibly wouldn't have made it through the winter. I don't think the phrase new normal is misplaced. We don't entirely know what that will look like yet. Uh, we're going to be operating with masks on the staff and masks on customers for the foreseeable future. Um, our plexiglass barriers are not coming down in the, the foreseeable future. We'll never get back the losses that we have, but to get back on track and back on a good uh, trajectory moving forward, to get a full staff, which that's the number one concern right now, is a full staff in the front back of the house. And then there's no limit to the future. We'll spend seven days a week, 16 hours a day here, if that's what I have to do to be able to see people walk in and out of this restaurant and be happy and enjoy their food. Be happy, have a good time, have drinks, be with friends. That's, that's hospitality. That's, that's what we're in this industry for. We've certainly developed a, a really great rapport with the Harvard athletic teams, but it's not just the football team, and it's not, it's not just men's athletic, you know. I think it's safe to say that, for the most part, Harvard students really like us, um, and we, we love them to death, and um, we're really excited to have everybody back.